Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, this area here, this area here, uh, which would give me a bigger volume, me rotating this area 360 along the y-axis, or me rotating this area um, 360 along the along the x-axis. So which would give me a bigger volume? Okay. So uh, press pause. Uh, and remember, it's from zero to one. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So um, so let's let's um, let's let's do the uh, the the y-axis first. So let's sum up all the cylinders. Okay. So there there are lots of ways of doing it. Let's just sum up all the cylinders. So summing up all the cylinders would be us doing this. Okay. So so remember, you're you're doing it from um, you you hang on. You're doing it from um, from from zero. So so you're you're summing up all the cylinders here. Remember, let's just look at this one particular cylinder here. When you rotate it 360. It will look something like this, okay? Um, uh, and then, and then, so, so this is your your particular cylinder here. Well, the the circumference of this cylinder is given by by this, okay? Remember, you're you're moving along here. You're moving along the x-axis, right at this point here. That this is x, right at this point is x. So, well, the the circumference around here would be um, would be given by this. And then, and then you need to times the height. You need to times the height. Well, the height of this thing would be the red line. Would be the red line. Take away the blue line. Okay. It would be the height of this cylinder here would be the red line. The red line. Take away the blue line. Okay. The red line. Take the red line. Take away the blue line. That would give you the height. And if if you look at the thickness of this cylinder, it is. Uh, dx. So the volume of it, well you summing up all, all the cylinders would be you doing this. Okay, so now now um pi is a const uh, two pi is a constant, take it out and then um and then uh multiply this out um blah 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 and then it will give you a volume of um of uh yeah when when you come to integrate this um it, it would be well, well, integrate this. It will give you this, okay? Uh, and then uh, blah 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 blah, and then uh, overall the volume will be given the, given by this. So that's us using that's us summing up all the cylinders. So now let's 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 look at it from um, from the other method. So uh, the other method will be us summing up all the washers. So uh, so we are sum so we are summing up all all the washers here. So if you think about it. Let's just look at this particular washer right here. The uh, the thickness associated with this wa uh, washer would be uh, would be dy. The thickness here would be dy. Remember, you're you're moving up, you're 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 moving up in, in the y direction. Okay, so so looking at this particular uh, looking at this particular washer here, the thickness associated with this washer here would be dy. Now. If you rotate it 360 along the x-axis, it will give you it will give you this uh, this circle here, okay. And then and then you've got to take away the uh, the small circle here. So you've got to later take away the small circle. So so if you get a big circle, take away the small circle, then what's left will be this bit here, okay. So so um, so well. You summing up all the washers here would be you doing this, okay? So now evaluate it. Um, uh, evaluate this. So so uh, so that would then give you this, and then blah blah. blah. Um, it would then give you give you three three pi over ten, okay? So it's consistent with with our cylinder method. So doing it the washer way would be the same as uh, as doing it the the cylinder way. So now let's 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 rotate it along the x-axis now. So we are now going to rotate it along the uh, the, the x-axis. So it's going to look something like this. Um, well, well, yeah, we we we're going to rotate along the x-axis. So rotating along the x-axis would be us. Um, well, it, we we are doing it. We are moving in the. Remember, we are moving in the x direction, and the thickness associated with this one particular. Washer here would be uh, the thickness is dx. 
so that's this dx here and then we we would need to get the uh, the big area so we would need to get the big circle so we would need to get the big circle well the uh, the radius of the big circle is is root x so uh, so the radius here would be root x so uh, sorry hang on, root x so the radius is root x so it would be pi uh, root x squared this here would give us the area of the big circle here now take away the small area the small area the small circle would be uh, well the radius here would be the blue line so it would be pi r squared but r is the the blue line so it would be pi the blue line which is x squared and then we've got to square it because of this bit here so this this is a small circle here okay so um so if you get this take away this it will give you the washer here it will give you the washer here and then you're just summing up all the washers from zero to one from zero to one okay well doing all that will give you um would give you this so now um now now what let me think sorry um now yeah these cancel out uh, blah 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 uh, factor out the pi factor out the pi that will then give you this and then um, and then yeah and then integrate it blah 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 it will it, it, um, it gives you uh, 3 pi over 10 so as it turns out as it turns out it doesn't matter if you rotate this um, along the along the y-axis or along the x-axis it doesn't really matter but the question that you really should ask yourself is suppose this blue line is not a perfect x squared suppose it's uh, it's like this suppose the blue line is like this let's just say it's like this okay so now it's the the area between the red line and the and, uh, and our new line let's say this here if now now will it make a difference if, if I were to rotate this along the uh, the y-axis which which would give me a bigger volume along the x uh, along the y-axis or rotating it along the x-axis suppose you were to make this shape like this um, uh, um, will, will it will it make a difference so this is something that you have to investigate for yourself okay um, come up cre create a uh, create a, a, an equation for this thing that would take you down here well you you've got to investigate this for yourself okay uh, yeah okay